Hi, I'm Trev Hutchings, and this is how to create muted power chords in BandLab. First, we'll add a MIDI instrument guitar track. On the track mixer screen, tap on the plus icon just below the bottom track. Then tap on Virtual Instruments. At the top of the screen, tap on the Guitars tab. Then tap on Twang Guitar. And now let's add the metal guitar effects. Here I will go through the setup quickly, but if you want a full detailed explanation of this setup, click on the link at the end of this video to my metal guitar tutorial video. At the bottom of the screen, tap on Effects. Tap on Create below the None Effects icon, then tap on the plus icon. Tap on the Tone tab and tap on EQ3M. Set low gain and mid gain to about 10 dB. Set high gain to about 7 dB and set sweep to about 600 Hz. Now tap on the plus icon. Tap on the utility tab, then tap on feedback killer and set the amount to 10. Now tap on the plus icon, tap on the amps and cabs tab and tap on multi amp pro. Set the amp model to Mississippi 5150 and set drive to 10. Now tap on the plus icon, tap on the amps and cabs tab and tap on multi cab pro. Set cab to 4 times 10 J vintage. Set mic model to electro V20 and set mic position to far. Now tap on the plus icon, tap on the tone tab and tap on Graphic EQ. Set 200 Hz to about minus 10 dB. Set 800 Hz to about 4 dB. Set 1.6 kHz to minus 15 dB. Set 3.2 kHz to about 10 dB. And set 6.4 kHz to about 4 dB. OK, so now that we've got a metal guitar, let's add a noise gate so we can mimic the muting of the strings. Tap on the plus icon. Tap on the Dynamics tab. And tap on Noise Gate. Drag the dots on the lines to the right of the words Attack and Release all the way to the left. Drag the dot on the line to the right of the word Threshold all the way to the right. In the Effects chain, press on the last effects which is the noise gate, until it increases in size. Then drag it to the left, until it is the third FX icon from the left of the effects chain, and sits between the feedback killer and the multi-amp pro effects. There are two tricks that we need to use when adding MIDI notes, so that we activate the noise gate properly. First, we need to make sure that there is a blank space behind each note. And secondly, we need to reduce the velocity of each note. Now tap on the back arrow at the top left of the screen. At the bottom right of the screen, tap on the Step Sequencer icon. Now add some power chords. So there is a gap between each note. Now press your finger on the screen above the first note until a white circle appears around your finger. Then drag your finger so the square on the screen highlights all the notes. Then tap on the third icon from the left, that is the volume icon. Now at the bottom of the screen, drag the white dot on the line above the word velocity to the left to reduce the velocity. Then at the bottom of the screen, tap on the tick icon. As the muted notes have a reduced velocity, let's add a compressor so that we can level up the volume of the muted notes and the unmuted notes. At the top right of the screen, tap on the X icon. Tap on Customize below the Custom Effects icon. Tap on the plus icon at the top of the screen. Tap on the Dynamics tab. And tap on BL1176. Then at the top left of the screen, tap on the back arrow. At the top right of the screen, tap on the X icon. 
but what if you want muted notes and unmuted notes on the same track? To play muted notes and unmuted notes on the same track, reduce the velocity for muted notes. <laughs> and increase the velocity for unmuted notes. And here is the link to my metal guitar tutorial video.